When something exceeds our screen width, it causes horizontal scrolling. We could of course set our page wrap to overflow hidden, but that breaks any sticky elements inside. Instead, let's set our page wrap to overflow clip. This prevents horizontal scroll while still allowing for sticky children inside. To set a line wrap on our headings, we can apply a max width using CH until we have about two lines of text. Now this heading here has a widow, so to fix that, we can apply text wrap balance. If we apply this utility in any class name, it's going to perfectly balance our lines of text for up to four lines. So notice how this heading is wrapping nicely now. Currently, this mainly works on Chrome and hopefully other browsers add support soon. To make an SVG cover its full embed, we usually have to change its width and height to 100%. And to link it to the font color, we usually have to change all of its fills to current color. And this would have to be repeated for all of our SVGs. Unless we add an icon one or icon two utility to the embed, we can automatically find the SVGs inside and give them full width and height. And we can give either the fill or the stroke current color, depending on the utility we use. So to see this in action, let's grab our social icons and give them a utility of icon one. By doing that, their width and height is 100% and their fill is current color. Here we're using some icons that use stroke instead. Let's give them an icon two utility. And now we can see that their color is linked to the font color. In most browsers, there's an annoying scroll bounce that happens when we hit the top or bottom of a page. To fix that, simply add over scroll behavior none to the body. When a client creates a link in the Webflow editor, there's no option to add a class to it. So the link just looks like regular text. We can set any link that's inside of a heading or paragraph to have some default style. That way any link created obviously looks like a link and we can always change those styles freely by adding classes. You can find these starter styles and many more in the custom code of the Lumos framework for Webflow.